Hi, my name is Ellen, and I'm here today to talk to you about integrating composite functions using use substitution. So I love composite functions with integration. Um, my students, however, don't quite have the same affinity towards them. So what I want to start with is just figuring out how we can identify um, what we're talking about here. So is it a composite function? So if you recall, does this one here look like a composite function, sine of x dx? I'm going to be honest with you and I'm going to say no. Sine of x is about as simple as we can get here. So this one is no. So let's take a look at this next one. Very similar, except it says sine of 3x. This indeed is a composite function. This 3x is the innermost function and then it's part of or within the sine function itself. So this one is a yes. So that's recognizing those composite functions. This one over here, what a mess. 9x squared dx all over the square root of 1 minus x to the third. Do you see a function within a function? This one's just 9x squared. This one here, the 1 minus x to the third, simple enough. But look, that 1 minus x to the third is within the square root function. So this one as well is a composite function. The 1 minus x to the third is within the square root function. So there lies the composite. So that one's a yes too. This one down here, love to give this one. My students want to smack me around when I do because this one looks like it could be a composite function because there's division, it looks a little bit more complicated, but watch how I separate these very quickly here. 4x squared over x plus 2x over x, that simplifies, that reduces, and this becomes the integral of 4x plus 2 dx, a very simple linear problem that got more complicated with me adding a denominator here. So this one is a no. So that's a little bit about recognition. So then let's take a look about how we use the u substitution. So we'll use the sine integral of sine of 3x dx first. So we're going to make in the middle here, I'm going to give you some steps to follow. So step number one is set u equal to your innermost function. So the one that's within the other. So in this case, the 3x is within the sign. So we're going to say u equals 3x. Perfect. Now the next step is take the derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of what we have just set u equal to. So that's going to be du equals 3 dx. Okay, so follow along with me there. We did that and now we're going to solve for dx. So all of our first two steps are just using this here. Divide both sides by 3, so du over 3 is equal to our dx. And then the next step, this is probably one of the most important ones, is replacing. We are going to replace our function with u and replace our dx, okay? So here's our dx and here's our function. Our 3x is equal to our u and our dx is equal to this right here. Let's put this in blue here. Maybe that'll help you a little bit see that. So we now have the integral of sine of, instead of 3x, we're putting a u, and instead of dx, we're putting du over three. This is just a little multiplication sign to show you those are being multiplied. All right, so this looks a little complicated because of this three down here in the denominator, but that's just a one third. That's a constant I'm gonna bring out front here. So then we have sine of u du. This function is so similar to this one, the only thing that's different is our variable. So the integral then of sine of u, so that's our next step here. Oops, not another four, how about a five? Okay, so five, we simplify. We kind of did that as I was talking there. Simplify if necessary. So that was when I brought the one third out. And so then the next step six is actually evaluating the integral. So we change everything, we simplified, and now I'm going to integrate. The integral of sine of u is negative cosine of u. You should have that memorized. Those are always important to have your um, trig identities memorized for taking the integrals. And then plus c. All right, so we have the plus c there. Let's just um, fix it up just a little bit here. Negative one-third cosine u plus c. And I still have u. This is a problem. I want to make sure my very last step is replace you with our original function, okay? 
So that was 3x. So we go back and we put it back in. Cosine of 3x plus c. And this is our final answer. Okay, so let's try to use these steps to do a little bit more complicated one over here. This 9x squared dx all over square root of 1 minus x to the third. So again, set u equal to the innermost function. This one here, 1 minus x to the third. Step two, take the derivative. du equals, one, or not one, we don't want to put the one there, the derivative of one is zero. So negative 3x squared dx is our correct derivative. And then we want to solve for dx. So notice here, we're going to end up dividing by this negative 3x squared. And you might go, but then I have these x's and that's going to be a problem. And I'm going to say, well, it looks like a problem now, but don't worry. Trust me on this one. Negative 3x squared equals dx. So our next step says replace our function with u and dx. So this dx here is right here. It's going to be replaced with this. And this right here is our u. It's going to be replaced with the u here. So when we go to do this, we're going to have 9x squared. I'm going to put it over the square root of not 1 minus x to the third, but u because I'm replacing it times our dx is du over negative 3x squared. And you're going to say, Alan, there's a problem here. We've got x squareds and we have u's. And how are we supposed to take the integral of that? I don't know how to do that. And I'm going to say, you're right. You really don't know how to do that. But you do know how to simplify if necessary. So simplifying x squared divided by x squared, those reduce to 1. And 9 divided by negative 3 is a negative 3. So we have negative 3 du all over the square root of u. I can pull that negative 3 out front, part of my simplifying. I'm also going to simplify. I don't like radical signs. This u on the bottom here is equal to u to the 1 half. But I also don't like it in the denominator, so bringing it up makes it u to the negative 1 half du. So then I've simplified. Now I need to evaluate the integral. So I've got negative 3. I'm going to drop parentheses here, u. Remember, I'm adding 1 to my exponent, so u to the 1 half, multiplying by that reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. D, or, sorry, we took the integral, so no more du. So then we've got negative 6 u to the 1 half. Now we have our plus c. So once I've gotten to here, am I done? No, because I've got this u here still. So I've got to go all the way back up here and see that u is equal to 1 minus x to the third and plus c. And notice I changed the 1 half back to the radical sign. Most instructors will want you to do it that way. So that's our final answer for this. If you'd like to see how we do it with um, some bounds to our integration there, you can check out the next section. And I uh, hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day.